I think that being in this kind of business, this small business, is every bit about the story as it is the product. And I think just the classic tenets of storytelling apply. The who, the what, the why, the where, and the how. And when people engage in that and learn, you know, who are the people behind what I'm doing? Where does it get done? How does it get done? That's fascinating stuff. The name rickshaw is in fact a Japanese uh, word. It comes from Jin Ricky Shaw, which means human strength vehicle. It was the name for the original human powered taxi. A rickshaw is a sedan chair with two wheels and two sticks and a person drawn cart. So we call ourselves human powered bags, but you know, we're constantly, as we grow, adding these new systems and efficiencies and things that make us more streamlined and have a better experience for our customers. But at the end of the day, we're still super hands-on and we're super old-fashioned. And it's just something about handling every product that leaves this building is like really important to me. Um, and you know, sometimes if I'm if I'm finding a little downtime in my day, I you know help trim bags or um, help cut something or uh, I just need to I need to touch things. I need to touch all the bags. It's pretty great. We roll the door up every day, let the sun shine in and let the people come in. And we don't there's no barrier between the factory and the front door. And we invite everyone to come on a little tour. Even on the weekends when we're not sewing, um, people still love to see the equipment because they see, oh wow, this is where it happens. And they'll see, you know, there's work in process, so there's you know, even though you're not hearing or seeing the machines going, you, you can almost hear the echo of it. Uh, from Friday or you can anticipate that it's going to happen on Monday morning and um, that's really the theater of manufacturing and we don't see that anymore. My favorite part of the job just coming from a creative background is the amount of creative license we're all allowed to have here. Um, you know we are all given an input on um, on design, on the next product that's coming out. We all get to be to test things. I get to wear a lot of really cool bags before they come out. My production team is 12 of the most amazing women I've ever met in my whole life. Um, they're family and they're funny and they, you know, I just, every day, they just, they brighten my day every day. Many, many a time I've come up to someone and said, hey, wow, that, that's a well-used bag, right? Um, how would you like a new one? People look at me like, uh, well, but I'm not gonna give up this one. Uh, because, you know, this stain was, I was in a cafe, you know, when I proposed to my wife and she spilled coffee on the table and that's where that stain came from. Or, you know, I've raised uh, three kids and this has been the diaper bag for every one of them. My wife would kill me if I ever lost this bag. I'm not a metaphysical person, but I think every bag that leaves here has a story attached to it that gives that bag just a little bit extra aura. When people get it, they have a little bit more appreciation for it. And so, that's good stuff.